Welcome back to Lawish, where we dive into the interesting cases of criminal law and real life justice. So hi, my name is Ennis, and we're exploring a case that highlights the serious implications of giving a false statement to police. This case involves theft, deception, and the worst thing, affecting vulnerable people. So join me as we unravel this case and dive into the legal consequences. Okay, so in a shocking turn of events, a 47 year old female disability worker, let's call her Hassan, was sentenced to 24 months imprisonment for making false statements to the police and stealing from her disabled and terminally ill patients. This case unfolded at Burwood Local Court, which was a series of 15 fraud-related charges. So, between December 2018 and October 2019, Hassan, a resident of Blacktown, exploited her position of a disability worker. She stole over 40,000 40, worth of cash, jewelry, and really sentimental items valued from people in their care. This investigation, led by Campsie, Burwood, and Blacktown Police, it was the most intense one where Hassan was arrested rest at a pawn shop. Initially charged with 22 counts, she ultimately pled guilty to 10 charges of stealing from dwelling. So that means from their home. Hassan's background played a key role in understanding her motives. Migrating to Australia as a young age and facing isolations and financial struggles, she found herself in a dire situation. However, this whole background is not an excuse for her actions. Making a false statement to the police is a very, very serious offence. Okay? Hassan's background played a key role in understanding her motives. Migrating to Australia at a young age and facing isolation and financial struggles, she found herself in this very dire situation. However, this whole background does not excuse her actions. Making a false statement to the police is a serious offence in New South Wales, outlined under Section 547B of the Crimes Act. In Hassan's case, her false statements relating to the claiming of ownership of the stolen items. So let's talk about these false statements. These range from lying to the police to get someone in trouble to making false police reports, to providing false witness testimony. Each of these acts carries severe legal repercussions. The penalty for making these kind of statements can include imprisonments or fines, or even both. In this case, Hassan's actions were described by the magistrate as opportunistic, brazen, and discreditable. So just dismiss the entire defense. Cases like this should light on the gravity of making a false statement to police. It is not just about the legal replications, but it's also about the trust in the justice system and the impact on real people's life. These are people, the most vulnerable people, and the court was having no leniency on that. So essentially, in conclusion, the case of Sun is a stark reminder of the consequences of exploiting trust and breaking the law. Here at Lawish, we try to aim you to give such critical legal matters. Remember, the law is a complex and living entity. We are here to navigate it together. So, hi again, my name is Ennis, and if you found this information informative, please like and share, share and subscribe for more insights and legal discussions. Stay knowledgeable, stay safe, and see you in the next video.